New tornado warning now issued for the sale. We've been tracking right now between, I'd say, Palm Beach Gardens back out towards Riviera Beach and Lakewood uh, and Lake Park. You can see this nasty cell right here. This is the one that we're tracking a little closer towards Juno Ridge. Now, National Weather Service has now uh, elevated that warning to a tornado warning with a little bit of rotation that's happening. If we can possibly do a split screen back in the control room to kind of show our West Palm Beach camera as we're watching this wall cloud, you can just see that tornado warning just issued issued in updating on our weather graphics. This is going to be from Lakewood Park or Lake Park out towards uh, Juno Beach, North Palm. This is the area you need to get in your safe room right now as we speak. And I know the control room is working on the possibility of showing our West Palm Beach sky cam was watching this wall cloud just towards the Blue Heron in 95. That's what kind of prompted this tornado warning. So here's what we got right going out. Little rotation right here between the gardens. This is going to be from military to 95 and then basically north of 45th Street. That's the area in question where we could see a funnel cloud or a tornado come down at any moment. As we go ahead and zoom on in, thank you, Glenn, for jumping in here as well. You can see this is the natural nasty part of the cell near North Palm Beach. That's where you need to be in your safe shelter right now. We've seen the storm really hold together with strong damaging winds. Also, the hail threat continues as we track this storm a little closer towards the north and east. Here's a little bit of rotation again. What we're looking for is the reds and the greens to show a couplet. Where we do see these coming together is where we see that possible rotation. So this is going to be around military trail in the gardens area and then points out towards the east. As that storm moves east, well, the threat of that rotating thunderstorm also begins to work its way as well. But not to neglect the fact it is coming down in buckets. Hail also. Look how uh, well pronounced that storm was really flaring up around Central Boulevard back out towards PGA right now. The rotation right here over North Palm Beach. So if you're headed out towards that direction, don't drive. Don't do anything just yet because this is a nasty storm. To be honest with you, we put our hail tracker on. You get those deeper purples indicating the bigger sized hail, so to speak, almost quarter size. We got a report in around Martin County earlier this afternoon. So military trail, the turnpike back over there by the LA Fitness Center, back towards Mirasol. That's where the hail is going to be a little more on the damaging side as we speak. So. Hail to watch out for. This is the shot that I was. Sh this is a perfect shelf cloud, well pronounced wall cloud that has prompted this tornado warning for Palm Beach County. As we go through the next few minutes, you can see that cloud right there on the other side of me, just indicating a lot of rotation in the atmosphere. If we can go back to the reflectivity and Glenn's right here helping me out, uh, showing the rotation in and around North Palm Beach. Now up to around, I'd say North Lake, and then we get closer towards around Hood Road. So your threat right now from North Palm to Hood Road, you need to be on guard for this nasty storm as it continues to move quickly towards the coast. So what we're looking for right here, I know it looks like Christmas to you, but green and reds indicating the couplet where we do see the possibility of that rotating thunderstorm that can produce a funnel cloud or tornado. And this storm means business. And you can see right here as Glenn circles that for me, we're looking from North Palm back out towards a portion of US-1. So this is around Lake Park, right there north of the marina, right there US-1, almost into Juneau. That is the hot spot right now, just south of North Lake and Donna Ross. If you live in this area, you need to take your tornado precautions as this storm is a damaging storm producing those wind gusts up and over 50 to 60 miles per hour. Still seeing a little bit of rotation right here. Just look how nasty the storm looks from Juno Ridge to Juno Isles back towards Juno Beach. The good news is it seems like it's fairly moving fairly quickly, but as we just got the latest rotation update, you can see right here is where we're tracking the rotation, kind of that little hook, the little standout right there. And as we track this towards the north and east, it's moving on a pretty decent clip. We're talking about Juno Ridge, 17 minutes, Juno Isles closer to 20 minutes. So not only is this a rotating thunderstorm, we've got the threat for damaging winds that are close to 60 miles per hour. I'm sure you just got out of that nasty storm around the gardens and around North Lake. It was coming down in buckets, very heavy rain and also hail being reported in through that portion of Palm Beach Gardens. This tracking towards the northeast, so where we need to be on guard now through the Aaron. next 20 minutes is going to be from Juno Beach running down towards Juno Ridge. Glenn, are you with me? I am with you. I want to show you also the severe thunderstorm up uh, in Indian River County because we've been talking about 
what's going on up to the north here. We have a severe thunderstorm warning for Indian River County as well right now. And that's right, until so that was just PM. issued, correct, yeah. until 530? Yeah, and it's pretty nasty too. It's got some, a lot of the heavy stuff is now moved offshore. We can see it here, right, right in the purple, sail. but... But it's still uh, it's still packing a punch way up there, so we're going to keep our eyes on some of that too. Uh, Indian River County just to the south here, down by Sebastian and Felsmere, but most of the bulk of the storm is up to the north. But we'll be watching that for a little while and see what happens with that. Let's go on back down to northern so Palm Beach County and that tornado warning here. Yeah, it's just a Glenn, it's just a nasty sail. We've been tracking yeah. these all afternoon long, and if we can see uh, the tornado warning, if we can go ahead and query that just to give us an idea of what time that's in effect till, that's going to be in effect until 515. So it kind of just replaced the severe thunderstorm warning that was issued for northeastern Palm Beach County. Now tornado warning. It's getting nasty, and we need you to be in your safe room right now. This is a storm you don't want to play around with. If we can go back to that live camera shot of downtown West Palm Beach and show you this wall cloud that is kind of circulating around 95 back out towards Blue Hair, and that's where we saw the strongest rotation. But as we kind of put this into motion, look how it weakens just a little bit, showing some signs of weakening. That is good news, but it's still a nasty storm out there. The rotation is going to be in this general vicinity right now from Lake Park back to around North Palm and almost on the eastern side of the gardens back towards US one, the shopping center right there back out towards the restaurants. You can see our 3v 3D view showing this is a pretty hefty thunderstorm right now as we get into the upper levels of the atmosphere. Once it reaches a certain point, that's a hail producer in Glen. We were getting reports of hail through Palm Beach Gardens. That was just a nasty sell as well. Uh, you have anything else from the chat concerning uh, what kind of storm reports we've got? Well, so far we're just getting reports of gusty winds and some hail here, but uh, this is something that started to develop as we looked out to the west earlier, and then as it got closer to the coast and that warm sea breeze just collided with the storm as it made its way closer to the coast, this is why the Storm Prediction Center had mostly our eastern parts of our area under that risk for severe weather. They extended it a little bit out west, and we have seen some stronger storms out west, but as these storms are getting closer to the coast, they're hitting that warm air coming off the ocean and they're just really expanding and exploding up into the atmosphere. Yeah, that was my main concern today, Glenn. If we yeah. didn't have that sea breeze yeah. kind of develop, then I think we would stay below severe limits. But since that sea breeze happened, yeah. it's just going to add that extra punch and that extra ingredient to get these storms popping. And these storms are making, and they're meaning business. Again, these reflectivities, I haven't seen a lot of reflectivities popping blacks and you know those deeper colors yeah. and through Palm Beach County. Uh, but right now, as we see, it looks like this storm is shrinking. So that's better yeah. news. And at least, Glenn, it's moving quickly. Uh, offshore. That's probably the best part of this scenario is that they're moving so quickly offshore. I was talking to people earlier today. We were doing some cut ins during Ellen and before that uh, about the different colors on the radar because they can be a little bit confusing. People think purple is a nice color, but really what the purples and blacks and whites are indicating is the coolness of the cloud tops. And in order for a cloud top to get that cool, it has to go really high in the atmosphere. Right. So when you see a purple or a white or a black, that means the cloud top is way up there and very cool expanding up into the atmosphere, and that means the storm is strengthening. Big updraft there. Okay, well, at least it's not as, uh, it's not it's blowing up better. along a lot of oh, locations, yeah. uh, but, you know, this is a highly populated area. Can we go back to that sky cam shot from downtown West Palm yeah. Beach and Let's show just that, that tremendous uh, uh, wall cloud that was coming around 95 in uh, Blue Heron? You can see this is what we're tracking. It looks like that shelf cloud you can see right there. And once wow. you get this kind of cloud to move through, that's the first kind of indicator that we've got some rotation in the clouds and eventually that could lead to a funnel cloud or tornado. So you can see as we take a live look from our downtown sky cam from West Palm Beach, there is that kind of initial edge of the strong storm that we're tracking. Now we can go back to radar and the good news is what we've seen over the past 10 to 15 minutes. If you can go ahead and put me and Glenn back up, we are looking at this storm weakening just a little bit here across northeastern Palm Beach County. So it's looking a little bit better in the gardens. Yeah. It was dicey, Glenn, in one location, especially out towards Central, the Turnpike, out towards Palm Beach Country Estates with that blow up, uh, that severe thunderstorm warning. But from what I've seen, and uh, it looks like the storm is shrinking just a little bit, still holding yeah. steady strong. 
but at least it looks like it's weakening a little bit. Well, as fate would have it, this storm happens to be right over where our TV station is located. Right. And so we were, I went out in the hallway a minute ago where some of the windows are, and everybody was looking out the window. Oh, right. Not the best idea, by the way. We want to pull people back away from their windows during a storm like this, but boy, oh boy, was it coming down out there. You can see anything, even just a few feet in front of you. This is a lot of rainfall. And of course, you know, we have our crews out there, but yeah. you're also our eyes and ears out there. Yeah. If you can safely take a picture or video what's going on in your area, send it to us, upload it to our Facebook page, news at WPBF.com. That's an easy way to upload your video, but we continue to track this tornado warning. It's in, technically in effect until 515. I, I think I, I, I think they'll probably let it expire before. I mean, most of the storm's going to be offshore here in the next few minutes. So right, we'll so that would be the ideal thing yeah. <laughs> as we get closer to our uh, five o'clock newscast, which happens in about, it looks like uh, two minutes, but you can see right here, that is the core of the storm right now. The good news is it's now moving offshore. Uh, Glenn, can we go to rotation? Check yeah, that out. Let's just check a it bit. out really quick here and see what we're looking at there. There's a velocity for yeah, you. Yeah, it's, it's a little broad. It's not as compact as it was. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on that? It looks it looks much better, actually. It looks much better. Remember, this was a much bigger, let me circle it for you. So this was a, a much bigger area of red, much bigger area of green here, combining right in the middle. Mm -hmm. That Since that's calming down a little bit now, we're seeing a, a little less. I, I'm pretty sure they're going to let this expire a little bit early here as it moves offshore. That seems like the proper thing to do with this. Right, it was what, technically in effect until uh, 5.15? And that depends on speed. You know, sometimes these storms speed up and they slow down pretty quickly. So it, it's good to have it too long instead of too short of a warning. So why not extend it out a little bit more than you might need? And right. then you're able to bring it on back if it goes ahead and moves offshore. We do have to be careful, though, as it moves off. The, whoa, that was a big jump offshore there. Um, yeah, a majority of the storm offshore now. But you have to be careful when one of these moves off the coast, too, because you can get a number of water spouts spawning yeah, off of one quick. of these, too. So for boaters out there, something I, we talked about throughout the day today, um, watch to the west, watch to the southwest today for those big building clouds, because that's all coming your way. If you're out on a boat or on the intracoastal or on the ocean, that's all moving east for today. And just want to also put out that we're uh, parts of our treasure coast under a severe thunderstorm watch until 8 p.m. this evening yeah. with the anticipation of more showers and storms that could develop. And it's a crazy day across Orlando again. We're looking this area as we get closer to the evening. That's going to be the area in question again. So it's going to be a little bit on the active side. Honestly, it's around 6 37 o'clock. But that's why we have issued the first warning weather day to give you a heads up of the nasty weather headed our direction and you can see that's what we'll be tracking. We go up there it's still doesn't look that bad around Sebastian. No, it looks like that core Glen is right offshore. Yeah that it's, Indian River. it's just north of Indian River County there and it's everything's kind of moving still off to the northeast here. Miko though we do have viewers in Miko and Roseland as well. Um, so you have some pretty heavy downpours. I'm not seeing much in the way of lightning down. The only lightning strike I'm seeing is back here way to the west of the turnpike and so as we zoom into the area what the lightning counter does is that total strikes lightning counter mm -hmm. it just takes into account the number of lightning strikes in that frame on your screen so right here as we zoom into our viewing area zero lightning strikes right there that's good news i agree so if yeah. we can go down the, to that uh palm beach county uh warning still okay so what they've done with the warning you can see how it shrunk yeah. Uh, so what they're doing is they're kind of just waiting on this last kind of hurrah, so to speak, that's moving through Lake Park to North Palm Beach. And once that clears the area, they're likely to drop the tornado warning that was in effect until 515. But right now what we've seen is it looks like it's weaker, Glenn, so that's good. Much weaker. Um, and we're just waiting on this kind of a tail end, so to speak, to move offshore before they will cancel officially the tornado warning. But not to neglect that this is just tremendous amount of rain and gusty winds across that area. Not surprised. The way this worked out today, this was all due to that large storm system that's been moving across the Gulf for the past couple of days. Last night, during the evening hours, we got that warm front that moved through with that system. And today, it's the cold front that's driving this air and making this instability across our area and creating the chance for some strong to severe storms. So once that storm system moves out, I. I called it luck of the Irish earlier because tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day, but right, actually so once yes. that storm system moves out, it's going to be a pretty nice day for St. Patrick's Day with much lower chances for rain tomorrow. Yeah, so here's what we're tracking. Again, that tornado watch or tornado warning still in effect technically until 515. 
what I'm thinking that the Weather Service is doing is just waiting for that tail end to get out of Dodge and move into the water before they do cancel that tornado warning quickly uh, right as it moves. And that's what we're waiting on, just a little bit more of heavy rain from uh, Juno now down towards North Palm. And once that gets over the water, looks like the Weather Service will go ahead and let that warning expire. That was initially until 515. So let's take a look out to the, I want to take a quick look out to down to the south here. Because we're still seeing some pretty good sized cells in Broward County. And some of these have moved up from Broward County and southeastern or southwestern rather Palm Beach County into our viewing area. So that's something we're going to watch too. What's happening down to the south here in Fort Lauderdale and Coral Springs because mm -hmm. those storms could move up into Boca and Del Rey. So that's something we want to be aware of as well. We're also watching this activity out at Okeechobee County and just to the west of Martin County. All of this is going to be moving over toward the coast as we continue all the way through our newscast here. We've already started our 5 p.m. newscast, but this could still be going on well into around 6.30, 7 o'clock. We went ahead and called the first warning weather day from 3 p.m. until about 9 p.m. And by then, most of that activity should have moved offshore. And this, to be honest with you, the dynamics are a little more threatening across our Treasure Coast community. So yeah. we're still looking. I, what I'm anticipating what's going to happen, what it usually does, is we'll see some flare-up of showers and storms develop out just west of Okeechobee and then move towards the northeast like the ones in Palm Beach County did. And again, we're under that watch for the Treasure Coast until 8 p.m. this evening. Any more updates on that uh, tornado warning, uh, Glenn? No, I'm pretty sure. Chat? I'm pretty sure it's about to expire here. I got to take a. If we could take Chris full screen, let me just grab my laptop over here. We're going to go okay. with the weather chat real quick. You can take Chris full on the screen. I'll give him the radar for a moment, and we'll check on the latest updates from the National Weather Service. So what's happening right now? Again, we're on the, we've been on the air with this tornado warning. Yeah. There was a nasty sail, uh, to be honest, over the gardens. It produced a lot of hail, a lot of damaging winds. I know if you're living in the gardens, you're like, <laughs> what is going on? Uh, so that sail quickly moved through the gardens and out closer towards the coastal sections. A little bit of rotation started to form around 95 in Blue Heron back out towards that section of Palm Beach County. That prompted the tornado warning that was issued until 515. Now we're just awaiting for the weather service to cancel that or at least allow it to expire as the main core of this thunderstorm is now offshore. So that's what we're waiting on is for the uh, weather service to officially say, OK, the warning has been expired. But for what I'm seeing right now, and what we're analyzing, it looks like the threat has really diminished over the coastal sections. But technically, we got to wait until the storm is literally over water and then they'll go ahead and cancel that warning. You can see how it kind of shrunk. It was in effect for more of the gardens. Now it's shrunk just a little bit, a little closer towards the coastal sections. So as that last little bit, moves closer. Come on, Weather Service. I think we can go. Glenn, what, do you have any updates? No, they haven't. They haven't called it just yet. It's They're literally a it little till, sliver. Yeah. And most of the rotation, if it's happening, is right offshore producing water spout of that general vicinity. Well, hopefully it'll be done in just a few minutes here. And then we can turn our attention. I know we have uh, a lot of other things going on in the news, but we want to always keep you up to date whenever we have severe weather like this in our viewing area and especially a tornado warning. We stay on the air with you until the that threat goes passes. Ahead and really, to be honest with you, yeah, it really is. And it, it most of, now this is just a tiny bit still left on shore, Chris. Just a little tiny bit right here. And I see Todd and Flea. Are you joining us yeah. now in progress, guys? We are waiting for you guys to okay. give us the word based on what the National Weather Service says. Right. We'll go when this warning expires. Okay, so that's what we're tracking. Just this last little bit. Uh, this heavy rain in towards Juno Beach, Juno Ridge, right there, just north of. Uh, North Palm, that's where it's raining pretty heavily, but for official and technical terms, we got to wait till the weather service if, if it technically expires. Let the warning expire. And they Since say they are they are canceling it now, but will expire fully when the entire storm moves offshore in the next five to 10 minutes. So that's so Glenn, you said that. Sorry, I had the producer in my ear. Yeah. You yeah, said I'm that sorry. They're, they're Weather Service to... says canceling severe now, but they'll let it expire fully once the, in the next five to ten minutes when the entire storm finishes moving offshore. OK, so yeah, that's the word again. That's what we're waiting on, even though the threat has now moved over the coastal sections where we could see a water spout right now. So we're going to continue with a little bit more coverage. Yeah. I know most of it is kind of uh, moved out of the picture, Glenn. But now we want to focus our attention closer towards the evening hours because 
We still have that severe weather threat in effect until at least 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. We'll be watching the possibility for those stronger thunderstorms developing yeah. out west and moving closer to the Treasure Coast. So as long as we have that cold front kind of lingering across the area, we're going to have those dynamics in place through the evening to really give us the chance for a few more, at least a few more isolated strong to severe storms moving over toward the east coast. And as you mentioned, Chris, especially along the Treasure Coast now, we're going to start to see those dynamics pick up. We've got some rain cooled air that is kind of stabilizing perhaps the atmosphere a little bit in Palm Beach County since we've had so much rain so far. But along the Treasure Coast, we haven't seen so many storms move through and they had a fair amount of daytime heating today. So the atmosphere is still very unstable over the Treasure Coast this evening. OK, so <laughs> we're still waiting. It's, st it's still there. It's like literally a little notch over Juno Beach right now. They just and they just said they they have expired the tornado. Warning. OK, so yep. tornado warnings yep. expired. We'll go ahead and start WPBF 25 News at five. All right. Live, local, late breaking, WPBF 25 News at 5 starts now. And right now, as you can see, severe weather impacting South Florida. A live look at our first warning Doppler radar. A tornado warning was issued in Palm Beach County, just expiring. This afternoon, strong storms are why we've declared this a WPBF 25 first warning weather day. Our WPBF 25 sky cams were rolling as thunderstorms moved across Jensen Beach, producing hail, gusty winds, and heavy downpours. This picture was sent to us by viewer Christina Harkin, showing just how big some of the hail was this afternoon in Martin County. And storms near Sarasota produced a possible tornado. Police say the brief storm left behind some damage, but so far, no reports of any injuries. Good evening, I'm Felicia Rodriguez. I'm Todd McDermott, thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. Our first warning meteorologist, Chris Martinez, tracking where the strongest storms are headed and how long do you expect the severe weather threat to last. Chris? Here we go. All right, so the good news is tornado warning has now been allowed to expire. There's no rotation into that northeastern Palm Beach County storm. It got a little intense, to be honest with you, especially around the gardens a little earlier this afternoon. Now what is left? Just a little core of heavy downpour right through Juneau Beach, just north of uh, North Palm, and just, uh, just I'd say, south of Barsinski and Donald Ross, right there along U U US-1. Most of the heavy rain threat now over the Gulf Stream, not anticipating that to really start to impact our area through Palm Beach County as that cell gets out of Dodge. We get a little bit of a break, but take a look at the high risk future track. We go through the course of the evening. Watch showers and storms again develop around Lake Okeechobee with the sea breeze now in play. We saw it develop across our coastal sections. That's going to add a little more ingredient to get these storms on the stronger side. So our severe weather threat continues through this evening, at least through 8 p.m. That's when that watch is in effect for the Treasure Coast. And even through 9 p.m., we've got the chance for these strong coastal thunderstorms from Vero Beach running down to Boynton, back towards Boca. And then finally, by 11 o'clock tonight, I think it is safe to say we kind of turn everything off and kind of gather our breath and really start to move into a drier and much quieter weather pattern. Of course, we'll keep an eye on anything that does pop severe. We were here with the tornado warning for you. And if anything else does pop severe, we'll be the first to let you know. Guys? All right, Chris, thank you. We continue to track those strong The area, our Suji Nam is live tonight, and she is out in this weather. Yeah, she sure is. Suji, I know you're driving east on PGA Boulevard. How are the skies looking? Yeah, I mean, Felicia Todd, you can really see kind of the dark clouds above us right now. The rain where we are at, we just passed by the bridge uh, passed on PGA Boulevard. Just a quick heads up, there is a car that is stalled on the bridge, which is going to be adding a little bit more traffic if you are headed in this direction, in addition to the weather that we're seeing right now. But I think kind of the heavier rain, we've been seeing a little bit passed down the other direction. But right now we're headed towards um, PGA and we're planning on going towards Singer Island as well. So. We'll, of course, keep you guys updated, but we've been seeing a lot of puddles off the side of the road. Right here, it seems to be a little bit drier, but down back there, we've seen a lot of cars kind of swerve a little bit left to right, trying to get to the other side of the road. So if you're on the roads right now, just be mindful and be patient. Take your time driving. But right now at this time, though, we're not seeing too much heavy ra rain pour, but we'll, of course, be sure to keep you updated as we stay out here on the road. But for now, Todd Felicia, back to you. Be careful out there on the roadways. Make sure you have the WPBF 25 News app downloaded to your device with the alerts turned on. If severe weather is detected near your area, we will send you a push alert to give you time to prepare.